Today we're doing a tutorial video in real time that will show you how you can create an imagination fueled space scene featuring an exploded planet. For this tutorial I'm using Asprite software, a 180 by 120 pixel canvas, and a palette called Citrink. The link to the palette is in the description. Let's get started. Go to new file. Our canvas is going to be 180 by 120 pixels. We'll go to the hamburger menu, load palette, and then we're going to load the Citrink palette that you downloaded. And to begin with, we're going to put the darkest color in on layer one as the background. We'll rename that to background. Do a new layer here, shift N, shift P to rename it, and we'll call this Nebula. We'll zoom in a little bit here, grab our next brightest color, and we're gonna draw some cloudy structures in here. These are our nebulas. Oops. We want to have our fill set to continuous and we'll fill that in there. Next, we're going to use the eraser tool on about th size three. And we're just going to take some nibbles out of the edge of our nebulas here. This is just the first step in getting them to have a cloudy-like appearance. Doesn't necessarily have to be done this way. This is just my process. Okay. We're gonna go back to a single pixel brush. And we're going to make a brush out of a two by two grid, just like this here. So we'll select that control B. And now we've got a brush made of that configuration of pixels. We're going to go to the eraser and we're going to use that brush to erase in a little bit here. This is really going to help smooth out the edges of our nebula. Don't be afraid to dig into it a little bit. Okay, once we're done erasing away a little bit, we're gonna go back to our brush tool with B and we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna build it out a little bit here. Just some tendrils reaching away from the edge of the nebulas here. Okay, there we go. That's a good nebula. Next, we are going to tackle our planet. So we're going to do a new layer and name it planet. And we're going to start with this greenish color here. Get rid of our brush by hitting escape and then shift M to do the 
circular selection tool. And we want to select a circle that's about 50 by 50 pixels. You can see that it is down at the bottom. Once that's there, we hit F to fill our selection. And we'll move that right towards the middle. This is our pre-exploded planet here. Now to explode the planet, we're going to use this lasso tool. And we're just going to select some chunks of our planet to move out and away and rotate. Control D to deselect. And we're just pulling chunks away here. trying to do is get something that kind of blew up in a cone direction both from the top left and the bottom right area of the planet the middle of the planet here it might not have moved as much as it exploded but near the edges these bits are going to have moved quite a lot so don't be afraid to go back move things around Get your exploded planet just right. Okay, now that we've got it somewhat exploded here, we'll go into our eraser tool and just add some crags into these exploded bits. Round off anything squared. These are just some cracks that are a result of the explosion. to give this exploded planet some texture here. So to select the entire thing, we hit control and then select our layer. That's gonna select everything on it. And we'll zoom in a little bit, select this bright yellow color, and we're gonna start indicating some light hitting the light source side of these chunks, which is going to be the top right in our case. This is quite a chunky explosion, so don't worry about making things look too gradient-like because these are not smooth pieces. Just everything facing the top right will get a little bit of shine on them. Okay, come a little bit less bright here. And we're gonna select our midtone green here by selecting that color with Alt and clicking on it for the dropper tool. Then going to select color range, it'll automatically pick that color we selected. 
hit OK. Now we've only selected that green. And we can get some of that green going in here. This isn't the brightest uh, part of the asteroid bits, but it's one of the brighter parts. Okay, don't worry about if it doesn't look great the first pass, because next we're going to go down to a darker color. This, our third darkest color here, and this is going to be the really shaded side of these asteroid bits. shadow transition here. You can just click in some of this stuff. Make sure you're looking down at your um, preview window every once in a while to see how it's looking. I think that's looking pretty good. We'll deselect that. We'll go back to selecting the entirety of our planet layer with control and then clicking the layer. Now we're going to use the spray brush tool, shift B. And we're going to select our midtone and we're just going to spray in to our selection here some of this midtone color just to add some texture. We'll do that with some of the other colors here as well. And even some of the shadow colors. Okay, we've got our exploded bits here now. Next, we're going to make a new layer. Shift N, Shift P to rename it. And these are going to be our explosion lines. So for this, we're going to take our very brightest white color with a single pixel width, holding down shift, we're going to make a line across our explosion here. And then a couple more lines parallel here. We'll take that next color down, the yellow one. We'll thicken up some of these lines near their midsection. Give you the idea of the explosion light kind of waning off as it reaches off into the distance. And then really to hit home with that, we're going to erase a little bit near the edges. Just real willy-nilly here. That gives us an idea of the direction of the explosion here. And now you can be done here with your planet if you'd like, or if you'd like to add a little bit more detail, we could go in and just above the nebula layer, we could add a new layer, shift N, shift P, and we'll call this stars. For now, we'll hide our planet and our lines. And we're going to select our our um, blue color here, Shift B, 
and oops, somehow we got an extra layer in there. Shift B. And we're gonna just spray tool in some stars here. It's okay to go a little thicker with the darker colors. We'll even come back and do some stars that are the same color as the nebula here. But as we get brighter with our stars, we want to do a little bit less. And maybe just a few bright green stars off on the upper right side here. <laughs> 